just fantastic. You've got to be feeling pretty good. Last night, a nice four-hit performance. It was your second four-hit game of the season, and despite it coming in the loss, it just must have felt good. You had been mired in a little bit of a slump to break out of that in a really big way. Yeah, it felt good, you know. Last, you know, few games didn't really go my way, but I'm feeling pretty comfortable to play. Just keeping it simple, seeing the ball, putting the barrel on the ball, and, you know, yesterday I had five really good at-bats where you know, seeing the ball well and hitting pitches that I need to hit rather than the pitcher's pitches. And yeah, I got four hits yesterday and it felt great. And you mentioned you had five really solid at-bats. If I'm remembering correctly, your last at-bat ended up being a walk. You got ahead three and three and one in the count, took a pitch down and in. And that was at a point in the game where I think you guys were down by eight runs at that point. How hard is it to kind of keep yourself engaged and focused knowing like, hey, this at-bat counts just as much as the same as my first one? Yeah, it was the same idea as my first couple at bats. You know, being in the fifth at bat, and you know we're kind of down. You kind of want to get in that zone where you want to try and do more, or you know maybe try and swing harder. But the way I was feeling yesterday was really well. Just keeping it simple, like I was saying, just keep, keep breathing, seeing the ball, and just be easy. And that's what I did. I didn't swing at any bad pitches, and I you know got the walk, which I'll take any day. And one thing that's kind of been pretty amazing to me, at least, is since you've gotten here, we talked about it right before we got on air, is that you have not missed a single game since you've signed your contract here in Evansville. I mean, that's an extremely hard thing to do with the kind of schedule you guys have played. How do you get yourself ready and out of bed every day? Um, just knowing that I get to play baseball every day, you know. it's I know i got a lot of buddies back home that would you know, still be loving to play baseball every day. So if I come out, and just enjoying the moment and I don't really like to take any days off so you know if I'm feeling you know kind of sore or whatever I just got to push to the side and continue to keep playing hard you know um, I love playing baseball and I prefer not to take any days off so if I'm in that lineup I'm gonna go full go. And kind of what's your routine for playing every day how do you keep yourself loose and limber and ready to go? Um, for the most part I'm always trying to get at least like nine hours ten hours of sleep get a good breakfast in me, go work out, or maybe take a less workout and just go stretch, get loose. But for the most part, it's the same routine every day, just being prepared physically and mentally to come out and play. So, you know, I've been doing it all my life, so it's nothing different. In these past couple of weeks, have been pretty tough for you guys since the All-Star break, uh, under 500 record since then, but still just four games back of first place in the Frontier League Western Division with a couple of weeks of inter or just Western Divisional play left to go in the season. How do you guys kind of prepare for that, knowing, hey, we can make a run right now? Yeah, that's the thing. You know, we obviously have been playing our best baseball, and now that it's August and we only got a couple weeks left, and somehow we're still only three or four games out of first place, so... You know, there's a good feel in the clubhouse still saying, you know, we still have a good chance of winning this entire thing. And as we just take it day by day and not care about anybody else because, you know, first place, it's in our it's in our own hands. It's whatever we do with it. So as long as we take it day by day and just continue to come out here and compete every day, then we should be fine. And you mentioned, like, in the clubhouse talking about it with other guys, one thing that you do have to deal with is there's a lot of moving pieces with this team right now, <coughs> guys coming in and out. How do you adjust to a roster that's kind of a little bit in flux right now, new guys coming in and trying to mesh them into the team without really missing a stride? Uh, you know, it's kind of tough, but, you know, when I, I was a new guy in June and, you know, these guys all kind of came into me, like, you know, letting me know, you know, I'm here for a reason and, you know, they were all good dudes to me when I first got here. So when you see new faces coming in, you kind of want to give back to them because, you know, you were in their shoes at one point, not really having anybody that's on the team or so. For the most part, all these new guys that keep coming in are really good dudes and they haven't been an issue at all. They, you know, they go out every day and they're competing like us. So they're our teammates, so we'll be there for them. Well, David, thank you for your time and best of luck tonight. As always, you're in the lineup. Yeah, thanks, Sam. Appreciate it. You've been listening to...